Hi, Gina. Belle! How I'm are hugging. you? Good, I'm hugging you via Zoom. Oh, How back, have you been? back to you. It's been so exciting to see your journey. Mm -hmm. And I am amazed at all the things you're doing. And uh, loved your performance in this film as well. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Is everything okay? You have mascara all over your whole face. You actually have like a piece of toilet paper or oh, something. Oh, do I really? Other side, there, yeah. Just got dumped. I want to break up with you. What? Oh, me too. I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God. Oh my God. And look at her with my boyfriend. This is bad. What the? He was the love of my life. Yeah, Anne is the love of mine. But I'm not so sure that they're gonna realize it, not with these shiny new people around. So what are we supposed to do? We have to break them up. That's crazy, we can't do that. How would we do that? I will seduce Anne's boyfriend. Am I doing this right? It's so wet. You just take your two fingers, let it drip out. Oh, thank oh, you. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we've met. Hi. Oh. Will friendship seduce Noah? Oh, what about your ex? Really funny. I find you both incredibly attractive. Oh, yeah. Wow. Ow. Look at you, good work. Yeah, man, I'm a psycho. And we are so pleased to welcome Gina Rodriguez. She is in this film, I Want You Back. That is so much fun. I really, really had a good time watching this film. And there was a lot of little things in there that sometimes hit home. Did you find that when you looked at the script and you started doing the movie, Gina? Definitely a lot of things that hit home because the conversation of love, nobody is a stranger to it. Wanting love, being in love, you know, being hurt by love or whatever it might be. But um, yeah, there was a lot of things that I connected to for sure, especially in my character and my character's journey of projecting her pain on her partner versus taking accountability for her, you know, her own decisions that she made in her life. And so I, I really like where she gets to, because I do think it's a really great lesson for even myself to think about, like happiness begins with the self. And I just want to know, uh, have you ever done something like what she did? And we're not saying what it is. Okay, we're not spoiling it. No, we're not spoiling it. <laughs> so, but the pressure of doing things for someone, have you ever, did you ever, as you were growing up, feel that kind of pressure to someone's, uh, uh, you want to please someone and, and you and you do whatever they, they want you to do? Yeah, 100%. 100% I am, I am, um, I'm guilty of that for sure. Yeah. I, yeah. You know, um, not specifically what Anne did, but I was, I was a really good chameleon. You know, because I am an actor, it was like, I could be whoever my, my partner wanted me to be. And that was super detrimental because I was like, all right, you like this? Well, like this, this is what we're doing. This is what we're like, we like this. And it wasn't until I got older that I was like, but do you like it? What do you think people are going to gather from it other than having a great time watching the movie? For me specifically, I feel like it's really imperative that we know that there is more than one person that's right for us out there. Like there's all there's this this uh, this strange uh, thought that there's just one person for each person. Like you gotta find your soulmate. There's just like your love of your life, and I think that there are many, and and for different times and uh, for different parts of you. And you know, I'm married, and I've been married for three years, and I hope to be married for, with him for fifty. Um, yes. But he's such an incredible man that I can't imagine he wouldn't be an incredible partner to many people. So like, wow. I do think that there are, the, you know, I want people to walk away knowing like, you didn't let the one go. You didn't lose the one, you know, or, or you won't just find one, you'll find many. Or if you lose one, you might find someone even greater you probably will. Way. Yeah, mm -hmm. you most likely 100% will. Yeah. So you've done uh, these kinds of stories where, you know, it's about relationships. I mean, Jane the Virgin, you know, that it was that. Um, and you've also done um, the real dramatic ones. Uh, what was the name of that movie where it was the oil spill? 
Deep Water Horizon. Yes. Yes. You were yeah. so great in that. Oh, what do you prefer? Do you like the uh, the Deep Water Horizon kind of films? You know, the drama, the tension, or these you know kinds of love and message <laughs> movies? I don't know if I have a preference to be honest, Belle. But I well, no, I lie. I take that back. I do have a preference. I do. I think I enjoy making rom coms more because of the state of the content, right? So like, I really enjoy Deepwater Horizon. There's actually no way to even compare the two. Deepwater Horizon gave me like one of my brothers, Peter Berg, who I absolutely like love. And he is such an awesome dude, uh, director, like he gives, he's very generous and he like, he guides a lot of people and he helps a lot of people. And so I got, got to work with John Malkovich and like Kurt Russell yes. and Mark Wahlberg and Kate Hudson. It's like really, really incredible human beings. Just the content was heavier. Mm-hmm. And then like, you know, we were doing crazy stunts with jumping off 90 foot, you know, rigs and swimming in big, you know, water, bodies of water and fi- like everything was exploding and on fire. So it was just like a different experience. Rom-coms are so fun. They're just like, everybody's happy, everybody's excited, nobody's afraid of a stunt going wrong, nobody, you know, like, nobody's crying over anybody's anything, you're, and, and the tears are usually, like, funny, (laughs) and, like, so they're just different in making them, I just really love making comedies. And you do it so well, I mean, it's, it's been proven, Um, it's wonderful, and I also want to congratulate you on the executive producing the diary of a future president uh, that was wonderful and you know it's it's come to an end but you're like moving forward you're directing now uh, you, you directed an episode of good sam mm-hmm. and you're going to be directing more tell us a, a little bit about that and your next project so uh, it is very sad the diary of future president has come to an end but we were able to do 20 episodes of television two seasons and as someone who's worked on television i know that that's already a really difficult feat mm-hmm. and we were able to really set off alana peña the writer who now has a cbs deal and she's writing like cra- and she's making shows like crazy and so to know that that project made another really dope Latina in the industry who's going to go off and help many, many more is to me the greatest thing that happened was just really putting Alana on the trajectory that she deserved, knows how to do, and will be incredible on. Mm -hmm. Um, So that was really, that was really uh, a, a really tremendous feeling to be honest and you know a lot of our actors were first time Tess Romero our little lead was her first time Charlie was his first time and those kids have such a special bond with each other all the kids still talk to each other we still have a group chat I got to work with Seleni Slava whom I'm obsessed with and I have been for so many years so everything happens for a reason and it was really good um and 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 I can and I will productions was the production company that I have is on the, you know, is set to make more of those for the youth. We have a project at Netflix right now that is in development and it'll be more of a younger, you know, story for a younger generation. Hopefully we'll either discover a new actress or, you know, we'll be able to discover new people in that, um, in that journey anyway, new writers, get new writers in the writers rooms, et cetera. So that's that seems to excite you because you have the passion. I just, you know, Abel, like so many people helped me, you being one of them, you being one of them, know that, you know, for you putting me on the map with the Amahan Awards, you supporting me, like you are a hundred percent part of my crew that has gotten me this far. Oh my and God, what an honor. Thank no, you. You have to know that I, I don't take that lightly and I don't take that for granted. And so I want to do the same thing that you did for me many years ago, that Eva did for me many years ago, that so many people who took me under their wing did it. I, I want to do the same thing for other people. And it does bring me a lot of joy. It is maybe my love language. Oh, that's a beautiful sentiment. Thank you so much. We all look forward to seeing you. And I want you back as Annie. You did a terrific job and everyone, you're going to love it. So thank you for speaking with us. Thank you, Belle. Thank you for supporting. So great to see you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.